Hey Ralph, here's my darn. Like I said, it's an R10 model. Um, I'll just give you a quick video of what it looks like. Um, it's got cyanide case colors on it. That's normal. Um, right here, the safety is in the safe position. That's fire. It does go all the way around, but there's a detent there and a detent there. So that's the hard part with these guns is trying to get them off of safe in a quick manner. Um, if you look at the lever on mine, I don't know how it's sculpted relative to yours. Let's see if I can get better light on it here. Um, maybe yours has the same shape and they just didn't put the stamp on it. But there should be stamp darn right there uh, on the top of the lever. Um, on the other side, same thing. These two pins. You know, screw up here in the corner. Um, and there's no real other markings on the barrel other than a little bit of engraving at the end of where the chambers would fit and the guns were, um, uh, the barrels were fitted to the block. Um, it's real narrow here in the breech. Um, so this is a 12 gauge, but it's about as narrow as a 16. I imagine your 16 is more like a 20. Uh, I think these actions allow for real close uh, barrels and that helps a lot. Um, this is how I take mine apart. Take the uh, the breech off. If you see back here, underneath this fingertip, you see that little metal tit sticking down, and push that up. And there's a little click. Something falls down here, and then you can wiggle it off. And you probably have to move this lever a little bit to do that, and it all slides off. And that's the uh, the breech block for you. Um, Pretty standard, pretty straightforward. Getting it on, just reverse the process, of course. Um, wiggling it on, I'm going to have to put the camera down for a moment to do that. Uh, come on, come on, buddy. There we go. And just slides on like that, and we're good to go. Getting the barrels off, um, stand it on the floor like this. Uh, holding it and knocking the barrels off will be a trick. Uh, holding the camera at the same time. Uh, but stand it up like this. And just hit the muzzle. Like that. And it pops off. Um, a lot more elegantly done with two hands. Um, and that's all there is to that. Um, my proofs. I don't know if we can get a good cross lighting on them like so and it's not really going to work but they're triple proofed there's something well over 16,000 PSI which doesn't seem like triple to me let's see if I can turn these right side up um, but yours may be similar anyway that's about all there is to it um, like I said it's a really nice gun um, got these extractors in it, but the extractors pull the shells all the way out, so really they're ejectors. They're just not these spring-loaded things that send shells flying for a mile. So that's it. Putting it back together or putting the barrels back on, um, you just repeat the process, slide the, the barrels back and forward, and then they tend to not click into place because you can't push them or pull them hard enough to get them into place. Just close the breech on them and it uh, moves the barrel right to where you want it. That gives you the leverage you need to seat the barrels um, properly. That's all there is to it. See you later.